in this video I want to show how you can set the quiescent current from a class B audio amplifier. This is again my demo circuit and amplifier. And here you see the potentiometer with which you can set the quiescent current. And the quiescent current is the current that this amplifier needs, the minimum current that it needs to function properly, to uh, give an undistorted audio signal at its output. In a class B amplifier the uh, current that the amplifier takes, so it goes here, it depends on the amount of signal at its input, that's here. So with a big signal here we have a big current and with a small signal here we have a small current. You can measure that with an amperimeter and when you connect the amperimeter here in the lead you will see that the pointer goes from the left to the right side etc. and that depends on the amount of um, current. Uh, both transistors here have to be set to a certain working point and that's done by adding a voltage between the two base uh, bases from the end transistors. So here you often see a potentiometer or you see a transistor uh, and that transistor is driven at its base, is set to a certain a working point at its base and then here we have a voltage drop. When you uh, give this circuit a high voltage drop, a uh, constant current will start to flow. But that's not our aim. We need uh, a current that depends on the amount of uh, input signal. So the alignment from this potentiometer is critical. And I want to demonstrate it now. Put on the amplifier. Put on the sine wave generator here. Nasty sound, sorry. I'm gonna align the potentiometer now. I'm gonna align the potentiometer now and then you can see the effects from the quiescent current or the current, it's not only the quiescent current, but the current that the amplifier takes and the effect on the distortion of the signal. I'm turning it now. Here I align the base voltage to a not proper uh, voltage and you can see that the whole amplifier stops amplifying and you can also see that the current that the amplifier takes gets very substantially. substantially. So there is a certain uh, there's a certain way in between by aligning this potentiometer where you find uh, an undistorted output signal here, undistorted output signal. Uh, you can in, uh, view that on the oscilloscope, and um, when the amplifier has no signal at its input, the current that the amplifier takes is minimal. And that's the ideal point where this uh, potentiometer has to be aligned to. So undistorted uh, signal and when there's no signal at the input, very small uh, current flowing here into the amplifier stage. So that's the point where you have to uh, that you have to seek. And then your amplifier is uh, set to its proper working point.